This is a tutorial on my DIY quad nut DPMVG Mark III. For those who are new to this, check out part 1, which is about what is DPMVG and what it's capable of. Now, to start building Mark III, first, you need 4 ESP32 cam boards. But you must get the one marked as ESP32-S. Those marked as ESP-32-S doesn't seem to work with my code so far. And then you need 4 34mm Google Cardboard lens with focal length of 40mm. In case you wanna use it in something like an airsoft game, polycarbonate is very durable and also IR transparent. You can put a 2mm thick, 30mm in diameter polycarbonate sheet as a camera protector. Now, let's start by testing the electronics. Plug your ESP32 to your computer through FTDI programmer. I used Espressive's library, but I had to modify it a little bit. And uploading through platform IO could also be confusing, so I just pulled out the binary file. So you can just go to Espressive's support page and download the flash tool. Then upload the left binary file for the left eye module and right binary file for right eye module. Now, if you connect the modules as the schematic, you will see it working. Since I set the DMA to almost maximum speed, there will be some glitches if the connection isn't good enough. So if you see any glitches in the display while testing, just solder the wires directly to the ESP32. If everything's okay, pull out the camera and remove the IR filter. Location of the filter could vary in different vendors, but basics are the same. Pull out the lens and break the filter to remove it. If you are done, put the camera back into ESP32. And you must adjust the camera lens so that it's in focus again. Now install the ESP32. When you do this, you must put every ESP32 board in the exact same direction as I did in the video. When you assemble the upper and lower body, you need to manually adjust the orientation of the display so that they are properly aligned. Default 34mm cardboard lens will look like this, but since we need to put two of it in a row, grind it a bit to make it look like this. Now wire the converter and LED. For the switch, it's a simple slide switch. Just use anything that fits. If you use the same converter as I did, you can put it in the frame like in the video. But for LED driver, there's not enough room for it. So just stick it behind the frame. Now put the LED on the LED mount. I recommend putting some heat sinks. For batteries, you can use anything that outputs 12 to 30 volts and 10 watts. And there's already great files for battery cases in Thingiverse, so use anything you like. And then assemble the whole frame.
I don't know the name of this part, but you can hook up the elastic wire thingy on the beam to prevent MVG from swinging all over. I recommend unhooking those wires when it's not in use. Now adjust the height and idle it. And then it's done. I also make Mark IV, which will be the high end version, but this time there is a lot of stuff to order from abroad. So this will take some considerable amount of time, and I'm talking about weeks or even months. Before then, I'll keep uploading new projects. So stay tuned if you like my videos.